Andrew McCart, IFL TV and association with MTK Global. I'm here in Frisco, Texas with me. I've got Eddie Hearn's new signing, 20 year old Mark Castro. Mark, how excited are you to finally be turning pro? I'm really excited to uh, make this transition to the pro game. I look to uh, repeat the success in the amateurs that I had the amateurs and the professionals. I'm really excited to be signing with Eddie Hearn. Break down your, your amateur career. Somebody told me 17 national champions, you're 46 and 1 in international contests, your overall record is something like 170 and seven or something like that. Yeah. Could you just break it down a little bit more for me? I'm a two-time amateur world champion. So two times uh, I went to Russia and on uh, two different years. In 2015, I won the junior world championships in Russia. And in 2016, I won the youth world championships in Russia. And the nationals is you fight the best of the best day for the whole week and you can't lose. If once you lose, you're out of the tournament. And my amateur record is 177 wins and seven losses. That's very impressive. Very, very impressive. My next question is, why Eddie Hearn? Eddie Hearn is a great promoter. He has a great platform with uh, DAZN and Matchroom. And I feel like he'll display me on the biggest cars in the, the world. And uh, I feel like he's the right guy to go with to make me into a mega superstar. I've just spoke with Eddie about you just on the stage there. He's still doing interviews. He said you're the, you're the next best thing coming out of the American boxing. You've got the opportunity. You, he's going to give you the platform. You've got the opportunity to go and become a multi-weight world champion if you have the goods. He's also said that this year is going to make you. He's going to fight you in April at Maryland. He's going to take you over to London to fight on Anthony Joshua's card. Then he's going to take you to Saudi. Then he's going to take you to Italy, Germany. Does that does that excite you? Does that make you feel like the the fact that your your career's mapped out already? Does that excite you? It really excites me, but I just know I. My the things I don't the things for me won't change. Like for me, getting up in the morning, going run, uh, taking uh, going to the gym, training hard. It excites me because like I know my rewards are my hard work's paying off. So why stop working hard now? I got to keep working. What what, what weight are you gonna campaign at for your debut? Do you think? I feel like uh, I want to campaign at the 126. So I probably weigh in 127, 128. Uh, they want me strong, looking good, and uh, put on a show that night. Is everyone saying that you, you can go as high as 154 in the future? I mean, looking at the size of you now, you look like you, you can make Super Bantam. Well, Featherweight, is it? Featherweight? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, they were just talking about it last night. Uh, like, just kind of like, a, in a, like oh, your career, where do you, where you think you finish at? Maybe 154, and then like 147, so around there. But they just, they're just trying to, like, hype me up and just get me to become, I could become the next big thing with uh, all the for me the ability to move up in weight classes so I'm excited you feel pressure when people are giving making out that you're the next best thing and you can become a multi world champion you're gonna fight here there and everywhere do you feel any pressure in that I feel like it's not any pressure I'm kind of excited because the pressure is here because I have been working hard my whole career and I'm just excited because I know like there's gonna be doubters and be haters and uh, there's now there's supporters now and I just the things I do don't change it's just cameras around now you're a Mexican, Mexican American fighter. Now, two Mexican Americans are fighting on Saturday night here in Frisco. Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas. You probably don't want to make a prediction because they're probably both your friends, but what's your thoughts on that fight? They're both great fighters. They both come to fight day in and day out. And um, I feel like it's going to be a, a great fight, but I feel like, no disrespect to Jesse Vargas, Mikey Garcia should pull out the victory. And uh, one quick one as well, get your thoughts on last Saturday night, Wilder versus Fury. Wild, uh, Fury su seems to have surprised everyone the way he approached that fight. Were you surprised at all? Um, I was surprised, honestly, but um, Fury is a hell of a fighter. Wilder, Fury stepped up to the occasion, Wilder didn't, and um, Fury's on another uh, level, and uh, the UK fans are something to watch. They're wild, they're proud, and they're really respectful, they have class, and it's, it was a great sight to watch. Well, Mark, I know you've been here all day. You're probably ready to just go chill out, have some burgers or whatever. But again, I thank you for this, Fightful TV champ, and you'll probably hopefully see you again soon. Thanks very much, Mark. Thank you.